Hello, everybody. Yay. Thank you, dog. It's Friday. Hey, everybody. Happy TDIF, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So happy to be with you today. Uh, we have the best snuffle dog toy. It, we're calling it a slinky dog snuffle toy uh, for your pups. It is the most outrageous, fantastical, like, snuffle toy ever. <laughs> Um, can we say that about our own stuff? Is that okay? I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're super excited to bring you the tutorial for that for this today. Um, of course, if you're a fan of ours, um, everybody in our in our fans and friends club uh knows that their pups and our pups love stuff toys and they're just the best brain game dog toys ever. Um, they help your hyperactive little puppies learn how to focus, right? They help um, your pups that gobble up their food eat, you know, you can use it as a slow feeder and they can eat a little slower. And if it's a rainy day or the weather's bad, it's just, or an everyday kind of toy, yeah. um, your pups will just absolutely love um, snuffling in it for treats. Um, but I have to show everybody before we get started what it's gonna look like, it's so cute. <laughs> Is this the most adorable little critter ever? So this is what we're going to make today. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Patty, and I'm here with Hillary. Hey, everybody. And we are the co-founders of Hound Hugger DIY, and we do all kinds of fun crafts and recipes and gear, dog gear and home decor, all that good stuff um, with a canine twist to it, of course, because we love our pups so, so much. Uh, we're so happy to be with you today. Comment. Let us know that you're here. Uh, like, subscribe follow all that good stuff that helps us out. And we're going to jump right in and get started on today's craft. This is going to be a lot of fun. So fleece, 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 grab as many colors as you like. You can do this in one color. It's totally fine. And yep. I think all together, it's maybe about a half a yard. It's not, it's probably under a half a yard. I think it's a little fleece. under, but yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Close. Um, and we just want to make ours colorful. I did, I kind of did the, the rainbow ish colors and I even grabbed a little fleecy blanket from Dollar Tree. If you've seen those and yep. Hillary, and I your have colors, a bunch of browns and creams and stuff like that, sort of hankified colors. Yeah. Of you're going to make a little hanky for. doodle. That'll yep. be so sweet. <laughs> and then you're going to need some fleece. Um, cause the face and the or tail we use felt. Thank you. Yep. And we were just talking about fleece. Uh, we're going to need some felt for the, the face, a lot of F fleece, fleecy, <laughs> felty face faces. So, um, and you can do whatever colors again, obviously mine is not authentic, you know, blue dogs colors, <laughs> but, um, Hillary has an adorable, um, Hank looking, uh, doggy face. That's really cute. And then, um, a shoe string, shoe lace, and it just needs to be a couple feet long, a uh, couple feet, like four or five feet. I got, I got the uh, 54 inches just to make sure it'd be on the safe side, just little white shoelaces. Yep. And then we have this amazing template that's going to make your life so easy. It's a free printable of all the parts and pieces. Isn't this cool? This will just save so much time and energy just try and figure out what those shapes are and all that stuff. You'll get the proportions just right. If you're interested in grabbing this, please let us know. Type in the comment hound, type hound down below, uh, and we'll send you a link to, uh, to get this free printable. And then basically the first thing you want to do is cut out all the parts and pieces. So you can see yeah. I've got all my pieces cut out all the little pieces. And then you're going to take the round circle one and you're going to cut out a bajillion circles. No, not quite <laughs> a bajillion. <laughs> we uh, stuck with about 60. Yep. Uh, these are three and a half inch circles. If you have, now we have little dogs um, and this would work for a little to medium sized dog. I think um, if you want to make the toy larger for if you have a larger dog you can make your circles like four inches so just yeah. you know grab a, a plate or a cup or something a bowl and just trace that and make a bunch of circles and I had five colors and I used a dozen of each right so that yeah. gives me 60 um, and you can also easy. so I have all of mine except for two the two that I'm finishing up with so you could also make this longer if you wanted to yes so you do as many circles as you want. Right. Like 
the only uh, restriction would be the length of your string that you're using to drive <laughs> on there and the amount of patients you have to cut circles. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. If you get your kiddos involved, right, then everybody can participate and it'll go a lot yep. quicker. All right. So then the next step you're going to do is we're going to make two little slits. So you're going to fold this in half. I tried using an X-Acto knife and cutting two little slits. It took forever. So I finally gave up and I'm like, okay, there's got to be an easier way. So you're just going to take your scissors and just snip a little bitty snip. So you just want two, two little slits that are about a half an inch apart. So you can kind of see. Yep. And you're going to do that for all your circles. And then you're going to take your shoelace and you're going to put your sh shoelace through one one end of the shoelace through one hole and the other end of the shoelace through the other hole. So you can see they're kind of dangling like that. And then you're going to pull this down, but you don't want to go all the way, but you're going to just keep adding. I think I could do a couple at a time. I'm just so going to keep adding all your felt or your fleece. And as okay. you're, as okay. you're pulling through, leave, leave this little loop leave a little bit of space here before that last, uh, that yeah, last you piece of fleece on the back there. You don't want to squish them all the way to the bottom. Right. So I'm just doing a couple at a time here. Just a more. And it goes pretty quickly. This is a, um, this is definitely something you could do watching TV. You yep. know, it takes a little bit of time, but um, it's not hard at all to do. Um, the kids can help your teenagers could put it together. That would be a fun thing for them to do. Uh, and any kind great. of snuffle toys are a great, like, um, if you're doing gifts for rescues or places yeah. like that, they're, yeah. they're really great for engaging, uh, dogs that are like, it's, they are, our, our dogs see the world with their noses first. So it's mm -hmm. a nice way to kind of bring them out of their shell if they're in a stressful situation yeah. or environment. So snuffle toys, those sorts of things are really nice. So if you wanted to make them for rescues or that sort of thing, these would be a great, a great toy. Um, yeah. And that. pretty inexpensive. I mean, a, mm -hmm. a half a yard of fleece, it doesn't cost a lot and shoelaces and scissors. Yep. That's all you, uh, all you need and our free printable. Again, yep. if you want it, type pound down below. We'll send you a link. So, yep, you can see both Hillary and I squished ours all the way to the end, um, left a little loop here. And the reason we're going to do that is because um, you're going to take all those other parts and pieces of the pattern that you cut out, right? And Hillary's showing the tail. And we're going to cut those out of fleece. Oh, gosh. I, <laughs> I felt. <laughs> out of felt. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to mess that up this whole time um, out of felt. So just do the opposite of whatever, <laughs> just do the opposite. Um, cut them out of felt. And then you're going to tuck that tail into the loop to the halfway point, And then you're going to fold it in half. Yep. And then you're going to pull on the opposite end of where the open end of the shoelaces and just pull that snug into so it scoots into that last one yeah just like that perfect isn't that a cute little tail that's adorable <laughs> that is so cute and then you're going to stitch that the two halves of the tail together so yep. that they they're married together and they're one piece so we just we did a little blanket stitch here let me show you mine real quick you can kind of see so you yeah. can see the stitching on it. Super easy. Just and it goes little... pretty quick. Like the, yeah. none of the pieces are super big. So it, it yeah. goes really quick to do that stitching, yeah. that hand sewing. So, right. So then the other, so the next step is you're going to tie a knot in the other end. But before you do, you, here's kind of the tricky part. It's not real tricky, but you don't want these squished too tightly together. And you don't want them too loose. You want like a happy medium. You want the dog to be able to have its body be able to move. You don't want it so stiff that it's it can't really uh, move. But you don't want it so loose because we're going to put treats in here. If you put it, uh, if it's too tight, the, you can't get treats in or the dog can't get treats out. And if it's too loose, the treats fall out. Right. So you want kind of a happy medium. So you, you can be able to see, I can pull, you know, some of these apart a little bit when I'm turning it and stuff. So it's not so tight. Um, 
and it just makes it a little and the fleece will actually grab those treats right it's fleece yeah. is kind of fluffy and stuff so it'll it'll grab grab those little dry kibbles or, or dry treats that you put in there so don't worry about it so once you've got kind of the right tension on the body then you can tie a knot at the other end and then cut the shoelace uh ends just cut a little bit any of the excess off of that and you you can leave them a little bit long um, yeah so you want to leave like an inch a half an inch yeah, half an inch is fine. Inch, inch to a half an inch is fine. It's all gonna get covered up. Yep. So, cool. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And then the next thing you're gonna do is take the back of the head. So that's this full head piece. Yeah, Hillary's got it cut out and felt already. And you're gonna align that with the first body part the first fleece circle. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the head is facing the right way that you, your tail, so your tail's going up in the back, yeah. <laughs> Cause I did that too. I was like putting the, putting the head on and I was like, oh, my tail's upside down now. <laughs> so make sure that the head and the tail are facing in the right direction, they're pointing in the right direction. I'm just gonna line that head up with that first piece of fleece. And then you're gonna stitch through the head, the back of the head, the shoelace ends, and the first piece of the first circle in your body. So you're going to stitch through all three of those layers. You're just going to go straight across that shoestring, right across in a line there. And what mm -hmm. that'll do is it'll attach yeah. the head to the the body, like the string part, like the that. So if the if the head gets tugged on it's going to take the whole body, right? It's not going to pull that first fleece off. So you want to go through all three layers. And so you're going to make a stitch that's basically kind of acro across that shoestring, right across that. And once you've done that first stitch, oh, perfect. Yeah, you can see in the upper right corner, I'm going through all three layers. So the back of the head, you can see the shoestring in the middle there, and then the yellow first circle. So I'm going through all three of those. And then on the bottom left, you can see the little line uh, of where I just went through the shoestring. So I went through all three layers, just, just stitching through that shoestring. And then once I finished that, then you make a circle around the shoestring. You stitch a circle around that. So you're still stitching the yellow or the first circle layer but you're not stitching the shoestring this time. So there's only two layers. It's just the back of the head and then that first circle of the body. But you make a circle around, you stitch a circle around the shoestring to kind of hide it so that when it's done, you're not gonna see that shoestring. And it also helps secure the head a little more uh, to the, the body as, as well. So, so here's my heads attached to... Yeah that first piece. And then I just did a circle around. So then um, once you have the back of the head attached, then you put all the fun little pieces together on the front of the face. So we've got our little front face. We've got our little left ear and right ear. We've got a little nose and eyes and all that good stuff. So you're going to attach all those parts and pieces together. And you can see Hillary's got it. So you can kind of see the stitches in the back here. So just hand stitch those. Adorable. Right on there. Yep. And then, and then before you put the nose on, you're going to want to cut an X in the middle of the I'm going to say fleece again of the felt. in the middle of the felt. <laughs> um, and because that's going to be a little extra hiding spot for a little kibble or treat. So that'll be so cute. And so you can see mine. I've got a brown nose too, but see, it's got a little, just cut an X right through the middle there. And then you're going to stitch around the edge, just like you yep. stitched around the edge of everything else. And then once your face is finished, then you can stitch that to the back of the head. So. And you just do a little blanket stitch. I just did a, a little blanket stitch all the way around. Yeah. And, and again, it goes easy. quick. It goes quick to, to it stitch does. those up. So. Yeah, it, it does. And that's it. And then you're done. So then you have your little wiggly slinky dog toy, which is so cute, so adorable. And then you're going to take, I've got a little handful of kibbles here. See if I can wake my little sleepy 
<laughs> girl next to me. And then you're just going to sprinkle some kibbles or dry treats into, um, into the toy. And one of the really fun things, and you could probably sh show the video. Yep. Um, I put a, a, I put a treat in the nose for Ginger to find. One of the things I love about this toy is it also rolls it, it, cause it's round, it'll roll around and it adds that extra le level of fun. So you can kind of see, she loved it. She had so much fun playing with this. Yeah, I'm curious <laughs> to see how Hank, Hank how Hank will do with it. He he likes snuffle toys. We'll see how aggressive he is with it. So sometimes <laughs> he can be pretty aggressive with some of his toys. So <laughs> so here's where she's going for the for the oh yeah treat in the nose there. Yeah, that was so funny. So yeah, she had a ball. She had a ball. She really enjoyed it. She did not want me taking it away from her uh, until it was empty. And it was, so that's the other thing. Um, before you wash it, make sure it's completely food free. There aren't yeah. any kibbles or treats in it. Um, and then one of the tips um, that I would recommend when you do wash, because you can throw this in the washing machine. What I would recommend is you put it in a pillowcase um, before you throw it in the wash. Um, and that will just help it from tossing all over the place. It'll help it keep it a little more contained um, and it'll help it keep it, um, keep the fleece uh, so it doesn't get so fuzzy, right? It doesn't get right. real fuzzy. Um, and then you air dry it. So I wouldn't necessarily throw this in the dryer. You probably could, but I would just air dry it. It's probably the best, uh, best way to go about cleaning it. Um, but yeah, it's super easy, super fun. They absolutely love it. And I just think it's just the cutest little... <laughs> cutest little slinky dog ever it's so adorable they really turn out fun hillary's yeah, yours is I gonna be so it. precious when you get yours finished it's gonna be great i can't wait to see <laughs> the final pictures i love the colors that you picked the real authentic dachshund colors yep um and i just wanted i had fleece that was all colorful so i just went that direction and i just love that you can customize them any way you like so really cool <laughs> Hey Megan, thanks so much for for texting Hound. We'll we'll get you a link to the uh, free template. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You're gonna love it. This is just the sweetest little toy ever. And I just I think it's really cool way to um, have a snuffle toy, right? You get yep. you've seen the mats and the balls and the and all that kind of stuff. We made we've made a number of different snuffle toys. Um, we even have like a 15 minute one that takes like literally like 15 minutes to make. So we've got all kinds. If you, if, if this one's a little too challenging to put together for you, we've got a, a bunch to choose from. Um, uh, but I just love the way it looks, the way it rolls, the way it moves, the way, you know, your pups interact with it. Um, it's really kind of fun. It's so cute and adorable. And also there are step-by-step -step instructions with those pictures that we are showing earlier that kind of show up close up pictures of each of the steps. So that is in the description here. So you can go directly to that to get your step-by-step -step instructions. And uh, the other um, crafts that Patty was mentioning are, snuff are different snuffle mats and snuffle baskets and all that. There's links to those at the very bottom of that step-by-step -step instruction too. So in case you want to try all of the different snuffle <laughs> inventions exactly. that we've come up with. <laughs> exactly. I think this is my favorite to date. I, I love mean, this it. is just it. the cutest little character ever. <laughs> so adorable. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please if you make them, send your pictures. Yes, send We'd pictures. Love to see we love your pictures, to see that. <laughs> video of your pups playing with it, anything. We would love it. That would just make our day. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, that would be great. Yeah. All so, right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks Enjoy. Everybody. Hope we've inspired you. Get out there and have some fun with your pups. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.